after nine years, I finally bought a new oven. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil and if you are new to the channel, we are a heavy metal cooking show that's keto all the way. Now I recently announced that after 9 years, I was getting rid of my very famous and popular oven and you can click here on the i button and watch my video about it. Now I finally bought a new oven and after doing what I thought was a lot of research, I went ahead and bought the Bajaj Majesty 50 litre digital oven. Now before I talk to you about the new oven, using an oven is not very common in India. Like most Indians don't cook with ovens. Most traditional Indian food is not made in an oven unless it's a tandoor and a tandoor is more of a restaurant uh, cooking appliance or cooking thing rather than being something that people have at home. So the variety of ovens available are not that many. Also because Indian households are quite small, most people live in apartments and the oven sizes are generally on the smaller side. So my previous oven was 35 liters and I wanted to get something bigger than that. Uh, and the options were quite limited to be honest. So after doing a bit of research, I narrowed it down to three options. One was the exact same oven that I had but just 10 liters larger. So that was the Bajaj Majesty 45 liter oven. Analog, exactly the same as my oven but there was one problem. There was no light inside the oven which was a pretty sort of important factor in what oven we were going to buy because you need an oven with a light in it. The other option was the Morphe Richard 60 liter oven which was a little on the larger side but it also had quite a few reviews saying that the temperature in the oven was not stable and it didn't really hit the mark. So that sort of kind of made me think hmm maybe not that. Then was this oven the Bajaj Majesty 50 liters which was the right size. It seemed to have everything we wanted including the light and the fan which is something we didn't have in the earlier oven and it just looked like it was meant to be but there was not a single review online of the oven i tried posting on a couple of forums and groups but nobody could give me any information about it but you know since the bajaj had served us well and it was the same company in fact the same company bajaj also handles morphe richards in india but since it was the same company we decided you know what let's give it a go maybe someday in the future we'll remodel our kitchen and we can try and get one of those nice built-in ovens instead so we did that we made the purchase and we got our Bajaj Majesty oven now the oven itself looks really good the design is quite sleek the interface is quite easy to use and it comes with a bunch of accessories mostly the grill rack the food tray a rotisserie spit uh, handles for the rotisserie a crumb tray and of course another handle to pull the tray out with so you get the standard accessories along with it so the first thing we noticed when we bought the oven was that it only goes to 230 degrees celsius which was something somehow it slipped my notice when i was reading the specs of the oven because that was another thing we really wanted an oven that can go to 250 degrees celsius because we like to make pizzas and sourdough bread and this was this is a problem but we used our oven thermometer and we cranked up the oven to 230 and it actually goes up to 250 so that's a good thing but that also means in general the oven is 20 degrees hotter than the actual temperature that we set it at because we tried setting it at 170 but it eventually went up to 190 so there is a bit of temperature fluctuation on this oven that we are going to have to get used to and adjust as we cook things now this oven also comes with a bunch of presets it's got the toast function the bake function tandoor rotisserie defrost and pizza and it's got the option of turning the fan on or off when you're baking with it. Now while the oven looks good, it functions and I'm going to be able to use it. 
I definitely wish there were some reviews of this oven and I wish I had maybe gone and seen the product before ordering it online but yeah there are a bit of problem there are some problems and a lot of those problems are with the limited functions on this oven so while on a normal oven you can just crank up you know the temperature as you like because this is a digital oven and there are presets I actually have a few issues with adjusting the temperature and I'll tell you why. So for example, the toast function, you can't adjust the temperature. There are just three preset toast settings which you have to switch between. The bake function is the only function where you can actually control the temperature. So there's no option for me to switch between the top grills like a broiler and the bottom one. I just have to use the overall function and the bake function, the Problem is you can only go up and down by 10 degrees, which is a bit ridiculous. So if I want to bake at 175, I can't. I can do 170 or I can do 180, which is a huge problem. Sorry to butt in like this, but I just went to the manufacturer's website and checked the specifications of the oven and it actually says that it goes to 250 degrees and it also says you have the option of choosing the upper coil or the lower coil while heating it so yeah just needed to i just checked it so i'm just inserting this clip in the video anyway back to my review then you have the tandoor function which is a default temperature of 230 and you can't adjust it then you have the rotisserie function which well i've used the rotisserie once in my old oven but even that you cannot change the temperature if you're using the rotisserie it's a default temperature of 210 then you've got the defrost function which works at 60 celsius which also cannot be adjusted but that's okay the defrost function will actually be useful and you've got the pizza function which basically is at 210 celsius and again cannot be changed so all in all i can say this oven has quite a few limitations and if anyone is actually planning to buy it i hope you watch this video because it's important to know these things before buying the oven rather than after buying it but having said that it's a new oven i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to use it to its full potential i'm going to make sure i squeeze every penny out of this oven now this oven i think costs about fifteen thousand indian rupees which is about two hundred dollars um, we bought it at a discount online which was about 2000 rupees cheaper which is about 3 for 30 40 30 dollars maybe a little less than 30 25 dollars cheaper and we bought an extended warranty because we were not sure uh, given that it's a digital oven you know in case things go haywire just want to keep your fingers crossed and it's better to have the warranty also you know we we chose the Bajaj simply because the last oven we had was a Bajaj it lasted for nine years it served us well and by the way the oven has a new home my uh, cook who comes home and cooks food for us every day yes we have a cook who who basically cooks our meals for us for my parents actually for my parents and my wife I make my own food because I'm I like to be different and painful and you know whatever <laughs> anyway I digress the point is the oven the old oven has a new home because it still works and my uh, cook's kids they like making pizza so she said I have a really small oven so I don't mind taking this oven and you know uh, my kids will love it they're gonna make pizza in it and all sorts of stuff so yeah the old oven has a new home as well and my new oven well it's time to put it to the test and see just how good it is also i just want to give you a heads up in case you see my old oven in any of the newer videos it's because i filmed a lot of videos before that oven was given away anyway i think i'll have to do a special episode to inaugurate the new oven but hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully anyone planning to buy this oven uh, found this review sort of review useful and i will see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen till then cheers and keep cooking hey folks if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to headbangers kitchen for awesome keto recipes i'm also a musician click here and watch one of my songs and i also do some non-keto food content you can click here and watch one of those videos or click below my beard and watch another keto recipe from headbangers kitchen